Bajaola ha traído muchas leyes y muchas de esas leyes ya está siendo adoptado dentro de la sociedad y dentro de la comunidad en general. Una de esas leyes, la más importante para nosotros, es la educación. Es la educación de los niños, es la educación de jóvenes, de adultos. Bajola ha dicho que la realidad del hombre eh, es una realidad no solo material, sino también espiritual. Et donc, l'éducation doit tenir compte de la réalité humaine. La spiritual education, it is helping children to uh, learn about virtues, how to apply them in their life, and how to be, you know, meaningful participants in a community building process. Children start in grade one, go through the grades and onto the juniors program and onto the main sequence of courses. Learning how to see it as one process has been very important. La base del instituto es la base donde los niños tienen que prepararse para la vida futura. Interesante cómo la influencia de la fe está en el barrio, cómo los niños dentro de la comunidad o dentro de una sociedad que asiste a una clase de niños, como los prejóvenes que asiste a una actividad prejuvenil, esos niños una vez que uno los reúnen nos damos de cuenta rápidamente de que son niños que y prejóvenes se sienten seguros, se sienten parte de la sociedad, se sienten parte de un futuro, de un crecimiento dentro de su área. clase de niños ayudamos a esos niños a desarrollar esas cualidades que ellos tienen latentes. Son como unas flores tiernas, porque ellos captan todo lo que los adultos dicen o todo lo que ven, lo que escuchan. Al hablarles sobre lo que ellos son, sobre que son ciertas plantas tan tiernas que pueden ser mejores, pueden ser veraces, pueden ser amables, amorosos. Asimismo, mediante esa clase de niños que realizaba, ellos aprendieron mucho y aprendí también de ellos. Yo no soy más que una pequeña semilla que tú has sembrado en el suelo de tu amor y has hecho brotar. Los coordinadores siempre están consultando, mirando a ver cuáles son los niños que están pasando en diferentes edades para poder continuar con el mismo proceso que es libro 3, grado 1, grado 2, grado 3. Trabajamos en equipos también de colaboradores. En el caso mío, eh, trato de visitar a los colaboradores, eh, los colaboradores que están recién llevando su programa de clase para niños, lo pequeño que sabemos, lo compartimos. De la educación espiritual de los niños en ese desarrollo de valores eh, ha llevado cambio en los, en, los, en los niños porque ellos han querido eh, mostrar, desarrollar esas buenas cualidades. Tratamos también eh, de mirar que los padres sean parte de la educación espiritual de los niños, ya que los papás conviven mayor tiempo con los niños y, y cuando les llevamos la enseñanza a los niños, ellos tratan de ayudar. Bajaola me ha dado muchas bendiciones como la vida, la enseñanza, la familia. Para mí, Bajaola es una luz brillante. अपनी सुपर सन्नता को मेरी आशा अपनी अस्तुति और यह अलौली क्लस्टर जो है यह बहुत घनी आबादी का क्लस्टर हम कह सकते हैं अभी की स्थिति अगर हम कहा जाए तो पूरे अलौली क्लस्टर में 112 बाल कक्षाएं हैं और जिसकी में 122 शिक्षक अपनी भूमिका 
निभा रहे हैं और लगभग एक 1200 के आसपास बच्चे अभी हैं या ग्यारह अभी आंकड़े में हैं लेकिन अप डाउन होता रहता है Twice a year, the Cluster Institute team organizes great training for the teachers, where they uh, prepare themselves and they study material for the next grades. At the moment, we have uh, uh, classes in grade one, grade two, uh, grade three, and we have uh, also a class in grade four. The team in Aloli. Uh, had one concern and uh, which was the the migration of some of the uh, youth to the cities and uh, uh, it, it was it was turning out to be a di bit difficult to 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 sustain some of the classes last year at this time uh, they had a, a youth gathering for young mothers and 58 young mothers participated from aloli चर्चा किया गया फिर कैसे जो है बच्चों को बच्चों के शिक्षित से शिक्षा से संबंधित हम लोगों ने चर्चा किया कि कैसे जो है जब तक माँ शिक्षित नहीं रहेगी तब तक जो है हमारा बच्चा वो शिक्षित अच्छी ढंग से नहीं हो पाएगा उसमें हम भाग लिए हैं जैसे हमारे मतलब समाज में सभी दीदी भाग लिए उत्साह बढ़ा और पढ़ने लिखने के अथी विषय में अच्छा लगा और बच्चा को भी शिक्षा दे रहा है और दीदी लोग भी पढ़ रहे हैं इसीलिए किताब बहुत बढ़िया है और अध्ययन करता है सभी दीदी और समाज का भी विकास हो रहा है हम अपना जो जैसे कि हमारा बच्चा है हम अपना बच्चा को अच्छा शिक्षा देंगे अब फिर वो बाहर जाएगा तो बाहर में तो जो बाहर वाला बोलेगा तो वही नहीं सीखेगा वो वो जो हम देंगे तो वो तो भूल जाएगा इसलिए हम सोचे कि बाहर भी बला के ये शिक्षा मिलना चाहिए Динамика стала другой в общине с тех пор, как в общине начала появляться более систематический молодежь. Это стало акцентом нашим и повлияло на всю образовательную программу, которая у нас есть. Мы многому учились, как взаимодействовать с родителями подростков. У меня есть две дочки. Почти три года назад они познакомились с вожатыми подростковых групп. Они приходили домой и в разговоре со мной постоянно говорили, что они изучают на этих подростковых группах, какие у них проекты. Позже к нам пришли вожатые подростковых групп и провели со мной беседу и рассказали о вере Бахаи. Я поняла принципы Бахаулы. În, com, în vecinătatea mea. De ce să încep un grup de preadescenți? La una dintre proiectele de servire pe care le-am le organizat și am invitat -o și pe mama mea să ne ajută cu treburile, la care ei a plăcut mai mult ca nouă ideile. Și în scurt timp ea a devenit foarte activă. Noi am progresat împreună cu familia. Noi ne-am dezvoltat și pe lângă asta am dezvoltat și vecinătatea în care locuim. Am început să mă la grupa de preadolescenți cu trei luni în urmă. Am dezvoltat noi capacități în mine. De exemplu, am început să am răbdare mai mult cu copii, am început să ajut mai mult copii. Am descoperit niște calități care înainte nici nu le știam că le pot avea. Asta este ca răbdarea, comunicarea cu persoane noi, înțelegerea, comunicarea cu părinții, comportamentul față de părinții s-a schimbat. Mi-e că că slătă pădrăscovă este așa un așa un instrument care se bărăiește împreună când ani văd masștabnăți programă 
когда они учатся дружить, когда получается создать атмосферу любви, дружелюбия, взаимной поддержки. Активно развиваются способности вожатых. И слет создает такой энтузиазм и желание возвращаться в свои города и дальше встречаться регулярно в своих группах для того, чтобы потом опять встретиться на слете. А видите еще к табора де предудлищенц. Ши астез фикари зи им в отцом к этой теме нового кари форте тарими плачем. Astăzi noi am studiat despre iubirea despre dintre părinți și copii. La fel, preadolescenții creează o atmosferă de iubire prietenie, care această atmosferă timp de timp poate fi creată și în vecinătatea lor. Ei pot să creeze o nouă cultură, o cultură unde oamenii sunt uniți în, în diversitate, unde se ascultă reciproc, unde se dezvoltă spiritual și intelectual. The Junior Youth Program awakens in its participants their true and innate potentialities and nurtures their spiritual and intellectual capacities. It taps into their altruism, their acute sense of justice, their eagerness to learn about the universe, and their desire to contribute to the betterment of the world and the construction of a better world. It allows them to become protagonists of the transformation of their society, but also to take charge of their own personal growth. And it also enables them to recognize that such a dual transformation finds expression in a lifetime of service. Junior youth programs, they've really benefited me, morally, spiritually. It's not only me, but even the society at large. We attended children's classes, we've been raised together, have grown up to be responsible youth. So in terms of the intellectual empowerment, you will find that they are among the top best students in schools because in the junior program, we see how they, they approach issues, they articulate issues, they try to put into practice what they are learning. So in terms of the moral empowerment, you realize that in, in our community, mor morals are somehow degrading in one way or another. Through the study of the spiritual concepts in the materials, you realize that they were getting some qualities that could shape their character, that could shape their lives. When I was in children's class, I see the people who are in junior program changing, improving in class, and doing other good things. I mean, I'm going to make a lot of ideas. I was going to say, I'm 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 going to say, I gained the interest of becoming an animator when I was in the junior class. I learned this idea. I was able to interact with people. Nile uweza kusaidia watu kwa, katika community ku, kuweza kutransform community yetu. Every month, at least once a month, the animators could come together, share their experiences. We are like brothers and sisters and we can talk matters that can help us. Yeah, wakati tuko pamoja, tunaweza tuna uwe tuna discuss pengine tuna tunapanga jinsi tukiona mwenzetu mmoja amelemewa tunatafuta mbinu na mikakati ambayo tunaweza tumia kumsaidia from the year 2008 the junior youth program started growing gradually and then we went to around 20 junior youth groups 35 junior youth groups 40 junior youth groups in the last 10 years around uh, 4000 to 5000 junior youth 
have been able to go through the first book of the junior youth program. And then a smaller number of uh, junior youth have been able to go through the higher text. So we don't just see this at the level of the program and thinking about the development of the program, but also at the level of their own lives and how does this actually help them to contribute to civilization building. Today we've got um, seven youth from Commercial Drive and half of them have completed book one of the Ruhi Institute and they're looking to become children's class teachers. So we just got together for a day to look at book three of the Institute and plan a few lessons. After you would say this prayer, you want to teach it to the kids. Which is good, sure. So that's a good one. So you say it. And then do you remember how we memorized it yesterday? Many of the youth uh, we've known for over like five years. Um, some of them actually were in a children's class. Uh, they're now 15, 16 years old. I think that in Vancouver, what we have seen is a higher presence of youth in various aspects of the Baha'i community. You know, at one point I think it was more of uh, the community doing things for the youth and youth would participate. But I think in the past 10 years what I have seen is that actually youth have become protagonists of certain goals and activities of the plan. When I was in children's classes as a child, I found it really beneficial towards my life and it was a positive experience that I enjoy looking back on, and so I'd like to reflect that onto the children in my complex. And then you guys know what kind means, right? Kind oh, means that you're speech. nice to people. Oh, cool, yeah, that's actually really good. Well, in this neighborhood, a common uh, misdeed would be like drugs and alcohol, but what I think we're doing today would help them to a better path. When I first moved to this building, um, it was very chaotic. Nobody knew their neighbors. But when the children's class started, it changed this whole area. One day Luke came back and he showed me what they had done and they had made these prayer books. And I read the prayer book. And I was the, 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 it was so beautiful. I mean, it made me cry. The words from Baha'u'llah and Abdul Baha were the most beautiful words I'd ever seen in my life. It, it was like someone loving me that didn't even know me. And so I actually kept Luke's prayer book because I loved the words so much. He was supposed to bring it back next class, children's class. And they, you, you and Moshe asked, where's your prayer book, Luke? And he said, my mom stole it. <laughs> and that was when of course, you, most day, and you realized, okay, let's go and tell them about the faith and, and see if we can get them involved. After that, it became easier to know people in the building. You know, getting to know the children, getting to know the teenagers, getting to know the parents. It was easy because with those words, I could see every human being as a gift from God. And that, I think, is the, the greatest gift that you can get. We're really feeling um, happy for this moment because it's been a while since there has been a youth uh, from the neighborhood who was uh, teaching that children's class. So to have seven, seven youth here is uh, it's cool. 